<laughs> I am being bullied. Oh my god, they're still on me. I thought I'd be safe once I touched dry land. I was wrong. Okay. The crabs are... are leaving me alone now. At least they had better be leaving me alone. Let's do, let's figure out what the deal is with these guys. Oh my god, I just got taken out by him. That's funny. Alright, at the very least, I don't have to run through the water again. I'm hoping I'm, like, done running through the swamp water, like, in total- in totality. Guys guarding my souls for me, thanks. Appreciate it. Keeping those safe for me. guys out. Did not see you there until you started moving. Although I think I heard you because I could hear more than one person like moaning. All right, another crab over here. Thankfully, the crabs seem pretty easy to deal with. It's just when I backed up into them. Not, not bad. Tight night shard. I see another guy and a couple more crabs. Seems like the strategy for a lot of these enemies is just to hit them before they can even get a chance to react to me. No! Ah, fuck. I got greedy and thought that I could avoid getting poisoned if I killed him fast enough. Dog. Thankfully, the poison doesn't seem to do too much, like, damage rapidly. It's pretty slow. Twin Dragon Great Shield. Well, it's a shame I'm... I'm trying to not use shields this time. Because I... I used shields in all the... in both the Dark Souls 1 and 2, and in Demon Souls. It was only in Bloodborne that I stopped using shields. Because there basically weren't any. And I figured uh, I I I thought I did pretty well during Bloodborne, so I thought that uh, I would be able to carry over that success in Dark Souls Three of not using a shield. 
Oh, is there's a bonfire over there? That's an odd place, Rowan. That feels close to the other one. Ow. Maybe I need it. Alright. Let's heal real quick. There is an item in the water over there. That's another one of these biters. He's coming for me. Okay. I mean, they're quick, but they're not... They're not that awful. Like, they're, they're manageable. If only I had a two-handing. What does that even mean? Time to praise the sun. <laughs> I, I want the gesture so bad. Crab ahead. Yeah, joy. All right. Now, we're not going to rest at the bonfire yet, because I just cleared a whole bunch of enemies over here. I want to make sure I've cleared everything that there is to grab here before I uh, respawn everything so that it comes to kill me. Ah, the poison has stopped. The, the hissing is gone. Now, I guess I didn't come over here entirely. Something just died. Don't know what. Late Night Shard... So I have a few different places to check. I've got the area that had the knight over at the far right side. There's an item in the water. There's those two guys that ambushed me near those stairs. And then there's around the outside of the building. Oh, the fifth one. And then there's the outside of the building there. I think I'm going to go for this item first. Get everything in the water done with. Wow, more green blossoms. My favorite. There's a doorway in there, huh? Warriors slumber ahead. All right, well, let's go look over here first. I hear tinkling. Is that a crystal lizard somewhere? Nope. Oh. Biter. That was a five hit combo. Yeah, so far those guys have not given me too much trouble. Sage Ring. Shortened spell casting time. There's a lot of items they've been giving me, I, I feel, that are uh, spell casting focused. But since I myself am not a spell caster, it's not the most useful kit that they're giving me. I know you're here. I'd rather you weren't. All right. So there's two of these like soldiers here. My only question is Okay, that one I have to drop from above to get. My only question is where was I see the one at the stairs? Where was the other one? Where did he come from? Where's his, like, his position? Not that it really makes a difference in the long run. I'm going to have to kill them both anyway. But knowing where he came from would be nice, I guess. Because as far as I could tell, I was just chilling out here, and then he decided I didn't get to live anymore.
Is he above me? I don't know why I'm scared. I guess it's just because I know he's in here somewhere. I don't know if he's under a tree or up in a tree somewhere. Or if he's like hiding around a corner. No, he just he just came walking down the stairs. Oh, he patrols. Eh, okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Well, I mean, there's no point in, like, delaying, is there? I'm going to have to deal with him eventually. I guess I just want to try and attract him and not the one with the club. Handle one at a time. Hello. What's that? I hear the other one coming. Yep. Why are why are why are you both coming for me? Uh, and the crab is coming is blocking me from escaping. This is unfortunate. I just wanted to kill one of you. The other guy's glowing red, and that scares me as well. Where did the sword guy go? Okay, there he is. God, and the crab is, like, right in the way. Okay, doesn't look like the warriors are chasing me all the way over here. I might, I might have to end up just uh, killing. I mean, I want to kill one at a time. I don't want to fight them both. But let me, let me do a little more scouting because I'm. I need to decide if I want to rest at the bonfire or if I want to keep exploring. I still have four Estus, so that's not. That's not bad. Oh, there's a guy sleeping there. No bite. Bad pupper. Okay. Ember. You guys gonna come down here? I was, I was wondering if you were going to drop down. I didn't realize you already had. Ooh, Estus Shard. That's a whole nother Estus Flask to add to the collection. You'll love to see that. Okay, that clears that path to explore. There was still around the other side of this building. Ooh, wait a second. What's this? Are you guys hostile? Yeah, okay. I figured you were just about to alert everybody, but I wanted to make sure. Okay. You guys have more health than the guy with the lantern did. Any chance I can heal again? No, I am out of magic juice. That guy has a nice hat up there. Can 
Can you can you go any f slower? Okay. The the hat man has magic. I mean, that was probably a safe assumption. Big hat definitely means magic. Ooh, you got some range on you. I'll drink another. Kill this guy before Hatman gets started. And now he dropped down to make it easier for me to reach him. Can I have your hat? I just... I just had an Estus Flask recharge. Uh... Hmm. Where did how did that happen? Heretic staff. Was it the guy that I killed that recharged it? Okay, I've already cleared what's below me. There's an enemy right there. He's got a shield and a spear. I really wish I could do my jumping attack that I used to do in like Dark Souls 2. I miss my jumping attack. There's a lot of places to explore here. I don't like that. Also, who? Where? Why? Okay. Um, before I get any further, I want to just check around the outside of this. Sorry. I, I, one of the biggest problems I have with games that are too open-ended is I have a lot of difficulty uh, just going down one path and exploring it to the end. If I had, and I, but then on the other side, okay, this is just a dead end. On the other side, if I don't explore things, they pile up, and then I start to feel overwhelmed with the number of avenues that I need to check. And that's why some games that are too open world for me are not appealing. I like things that are a little more linear myself because I know what the next objective is. I'm not. I remember when I was taking video game design classes, they were talking about the different types of, uh... The different types of video game players. And how one of them is the explorer. And I'm like, I am the opposite of an explorer. <laughs> At least in the game. The fact that I like to play different games makes me an explorer. But like, once I'm in a game, I like to be told what to do. Oh! You don't look hostile. Rolling required ahead. Why to destroy all of this person's maps? Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. You look like Snape. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. You got a lot of scrolls. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. Okay. Can you teach me sorceries? How intriguing. You'd better not. Sorcery is not for everyone. Is it because my stats are too low? Men should never be forced. Did you just judge me? You have your own methods. Sorcery need not be one of them. Don't let it bother you. Be on your way then. You know he's uh, he actually let me down nicely. Shouldn't you get back to your duty? Oh, I thought you'd already given up. Never. I must be a sorcerer. Well, nothing has changed. You're not inclined for sorcery. It is either a natural fit, or no fit at all. Be on your way then. You're unkindled. Oh, well, it is e beyond your unkindled. I'm guessing it's just my stats are too low for him. But I'm... Oh, spellcaster. I'm personally not going for sorcery. I'm going for strength. 
And I might do some faith so that I can have like defensive and healing magic to make me more tanky. Because I take a lot of damage, as it turns out. Oh, that's a drop. If I go down those stairs, I'm not coming back up. So I'm gonna not for the moment. I still have three Estes, so I still have, like, resources to continue exploring without respawning everything. Where did you come from? Alright. Uh... Do, do 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 back inside. So I have a pathway up here, and I still have the pathway past those two knights. I'm wondering if these will end up connecting. Okay, there's actually a way over here as well. <sighs> it's a crystal lizard, it's a trap, but I'm going for it. Got it. I'm glad I did not get punished more <laughs> for <laughs> blindly charging. I know that pretty much every time I go charging after a crystal lizard, that the odds are it's leading me into death. But I like to go for it anyway. These aren't the stairs. These were the other stairs in the water that led up to here, okay? That's that path connected. Warrior slumber ahead. Oh yeah, I saw. I went up here and I saw warrior slumbers ahead, and I turned around. Understood. That was a much bigger spell than the other ones you've been throwing at me. The I want to deal with only one of these guys. Like, I can't deal with the sword guy in that stairway if uh, the spellcaster's throwing that spell at me over and over. Got him. Are you going to restart, recharge my Estus again? No? I don't know how that happened. Mm, is that a multiplayer thing, actually? I There's like a, a tickling in the back of my mind of like in Dark Souls 1, there was something I was encountering that was refilling my Estus as well. I'm, I think I remember finding out that it was multiplayer related. That, like, another player's game was influencing me somehow. I do not recall. It happened right at the, t the same time that I killed that one guy, so I assumed it had something to do with killing him. I don't know. And I, and I know... I don't know if I finished exploring everything up here. I know that my knowledge in general of, uh, like, Dark Souls mechanics is, uh, functional at best. <laughs> Probably not even functional half the time. Uh, there's a lot of aspects of this game that are that just go right over my head, and I I fully embrace that. I know I'm never going to be like an expert. I'm not going to be the master at uh, I'm not going to be the master at Dark Souls, but I want to just experience the game. Still hearing lots of of dudes. Oh, it's another spellcaster. I mean, sh If I can get you without alerting anybody else, especially that other spellcaster, that would make my e life easier. Okay. I did end up... Oh, that one recharged my Estus. See, that's the little tiny attack that I was expecting him to do. Uh. 
Nice shield for me. Got him. More Estus for me? No. Okay. Maybe it's just a chance. Oh, okay. This is the... This is the hallway that I saw. There was a, uh... That's where the sorcerer guy is up there. Now, I am noticing a hole in the floor. I guess we'll, we'll drop in it. I might have already cleared this room. I did. There was uh, the, the biter guy in the corner over there. Hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.